Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mighty Gamers 8 here, and today is a live video for you guys. I'm going to be doing a Elite Armory overview. Um, I haven't, I've seen other YouTubers do this. My friend Merc did it. Um, his channel's down in the description. Again, his channel will always be down in my description, and I want to, I want to do this for you guys. Um, so first off, we have the AK-12 Finger Trap. This one I was actually using before I got the rip, but I uh, I was actually doing pretty good with this, but the only downside to this weapon is you can't put attachments on it, rarely. Next, we have the AK-12 rip. I love this weapon. I got this about a week ago. I don't, don't say it in the comments, please don't. <laughs> uh, this sucks because there's uh, less magazine size, but it, overall it's a pretty good weapon. Next, we have the Emily Whalehorn. Uh, I don't really like this weapon that much. Minus two damage really, minus two damage and minus one accuracy really hurts this weapon. If this was like plus one accuracy and minus three damage, I would that wouldn't bother me at all. Um, but the accuracy really needs to be up on this weapon. Next, we have the ASM1 Strider. Uh, this is the second elite, not second elite I have, but this is like the second best I think. Um, next to the rigor and the reckless um, but I do not have the speakeasy yet that's the problem I've been wanting the speakeasy for so long I've been having to result to these hopefully I will get them soon um, next we have the AS ARX 160 steel bite uh, this weapon I don't really like that much just because of the minus one fire rate plus damage it for me, I don't know why it doesn't really affect me at all. Uh, it doesn't seem like I get more kills with it. And I kill quicker. Pro pipe, I love this weapon. I I know most people say in the comments that, oh, that's a terrible weapon. But actually, if you really try with it, and yes, I'm saying you should go try hard with this weapon, it, it pays off. This is a, such a good weapon, and I think this is the... Uh, better version than the dynamo or not dynamo um i i don't know what the other one is but uh this is the better one of the two i believe um next we have the Oathbreaker. uh this weapon is actually a pretty good secondary if like your enemy is low on health or somewhat um i've been using it for a while next we have the atlas engineer xo i mean it looks pretty good and i think everybody got this i believe um, on the last update for AW. Next, we have the Atlas Orbital Loadout. This one's cool. I was using this before I got the Whiteout Loadout, and I think that's like over here somewhere. But um, uh, next we have the Atlas Ranger Helmet. I got this just out of a random supply drop. No big deal. Atlas Recon Shirt. No big deal. The Obsidian Steed. This gun is a beast. I don't know. I don't know who made this, but I, I really want to thank whoever made this weapon, because this weapon is insane. Plus two damage, plus one mobility. Wow. But minus one accuracy, minus one fire rate. The Inferno does have plus one fire rate, I believe, and that really like helps you win a lot more battles, um, gunfights, gun battles, whatever you want to call it. Next, we have the Biohazard Boots. This is a new... Uh, item from or added into elite added into a w i'm sorry um and i got that biohazard boots and the pants which i think the pants look pretty pretty, pretty cool um i am wearing them right now next we have the bulldog face hammer um <clears throat> the face hammer is actually pretty cool it's plus one damage, which maxes that out, and it's plus two accuracy, which I think is the better of the two. Uh, the Mancy is the one I'm referring to. <coughs> and overall, I think it's pretty good. Next, we have the KVA Radical Mask. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And next, we have the KFI Breakneck. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm, my throat's kind of sore. And out of burp. <coughs> but... KFI Breaknet plus 3 fire rate. This gun is really good for like objective based game modes like uh, domination, hardpoint, kill confirmed. People like where people are rushing, it's a really good weapon to pick people off. 
next we have the career exo I, I got it in the supply drop I got the lagoon helmet in a advanced supply drop uh, I got two days ago next we got the marine expeditionary exo nah not a not the best but hey it's elite I can't go wrong with any elite I mean and we have like another page or so another two pages um we have the MK14 elite elite, elite eye eagle eye plus what is it oh plus one <laughs> accuracy plus two range uh, I have not used this weapon yet plus it oh you can't really add attachments on it never mind plus the magazine size gets lowered and actually there's no and but it does have a uh, quick draw grip which I do like because I do like quick draw I use it a lot next we have oh, I already did that Nigerian command pants their pants, same with the armored helmet. Looks pretty cool. Alright, next we have the more silver bullet. I got this on one of my very first supply drops when I opened the game or when I logged on to the advanced warfare servers. The bad thing is about this weapon is it's minus two fire rate. That really drags this weapon down from being a good sniper. Like this is not a trick shotting. This is for like just staying back guarding something and yeah that's mainly what it's for it's not for quick scoping or trick siding next we have the royalty boots royalty exo and royalty gloves I've got uh, these two in a advanced supply drop and I got royalty gloves in a normal supply drop I was so happy when I got these um, the sentinel operator boots and a sentinel covert helmet I got both these in the same supply drop <laughs> Which is actually really surprising. Um, next up is the Sack 3 Pain and Suffering. I actually used these and they're pretty good. I mean, you just gotta have, uh, you just gotta put a lot of accuracy into it. For some reason, um, <clears throat> it seems like the fire rate is not what it should be. Like, uh, I don't know. Based off the Inferno, I know this is an SMG, but based off the Inferno, I think it sh the Pain and Suffering should have a lot faster rate of fire but a hey, sentinel operator exo I actually got this um about a month ago and this was a really like I was using this exo ever since I got the uh royalty exo and I think it was pretty good next we have the separator sentinel operator helmet has like the little shark thing on it from like I, I don't know I've seen this on like world of warplanes I said that in a previous video but next we have the SN6 money plus one accuracy plus one range which I, I like this it's it's a really good gun next we have the bacon and eggs uh, the bacon and eggs plus three damage minus three accuracy the accuracy you really need accuracy on this weapon that's what I think but eh, it's 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 really good like don't get me wrong it's elite it's really good but it's just this weapon isn't meant for me. Next, we have the white out loadout. Uh, as I said before, I wasn't really digging the uh, Atlas Engineer XO or the Sentinel Operator XO, but you know, it's it's the white out or not the XO. What am I talking about? I have no oh, the orbital loadout. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry about that. Um, and yeah, it's it's a really cool. I mean, I'd recommend getting it if you have it. Use it. Next, I got the Tiki helmet. I'm actually wearing it now. Um, it looks pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it looks really cool. And that is actually it. I will do uh, another video maybe on my enlisted and professional stuff. If you guys want to see another video like this or if you want to see more videos in general, make sure you subscribe down below and leave a comment. Make sure you just... Uh, Leave a comment saying, hey, I want to see more or something. Um, and so, yeah, guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit me up on any social media. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.